Fat embolism. The fat embolism can occur when the fat globules are released from the bone, usually during long bone fracture. And these fat globules can travel to the lung and obstruct the pulmonary vessels. It can also occur during reaming of the intramedullary canal. These fat globules also cause the release of inflammatory mediators, which cause endothelial lung damage and hypoxemia. Fat embolism usually occurs in trauma patients with multiple fractures, especially the fractures that involve the pelvis and the lung bones. Fat embolism occurs more with closed fractures. The fat globules also may travel to the brain, and it is called cerebral embolism. It may also travel to the skin capillaries. So a trauma patient with fracture of a lung bone, usually the femur, and between one to three days will develop fat embolism. This is the classic triad for that patient. Number one, a respiratory change. The fat globules affect the pulmonary vessels, so the patient will have difficulty in breathing, will have dyspnea, hypoxia. So you see this from the history and from the physical examination of the patient and from the vital signs. Patient also may have neurologic signs because the fat globules can go to the brain. So the patient may have confusion, alteration of the mental status, and in severe cases, the patient may get seizures. And then the third one is rash, petechial rash, because the fat globules can affect the dermal capillaries. Diagnosis, the history is important. The patient will have a long bone fracture, the condition usually occurs one to three days after the fracture, and you will have the classic triad, the respiratory problems, the neurological problems, and the rash. The mortality rate involving fat embolism is about 10%. Fat embolism usually occurs earlier than DVT. Which patient is at risk for fat embolism, patient with femur fracture, patient that has non-operative treatment, if you overream the fractures, patient with pathological fracture, especially in bilateral femur fractures, try not to fix bilateral pathological femur fractures in the same setting. Multiple trauma patients are always at risk of fat embolism. There are some diagnostic criteria established for fat embolism, and it is really a diagnosis of exclusion. So you need to have one of these major signs. Respiratory, shortness of breath, hypoxemia, the oxygen saturation is less than 60 millimeter mercury, pulmonary edema, the neurological confusion, agitation, altered mental status, drowsiness, petechial rash, axilla congenitiva palate. Rash occurs in about 20 to 50% of cases. It usually appears within 36 hours and it is self-limited. Usually disappears in about seven days. What are the minor signs? tachycardia, pyrexia, anemia, thrombocytopenia, fat in the urine. You need four minor signs and one major sign for the diagnosis of fat embolism. Early stabilization of lung bone fractures will reduce the risk of fat embolism. Treatment of fat embolism you need to have a high index of suspicion for the diagnosis. The treatment is usually supportive, oxygen, 
And in severe cases, you will do mechanical ventilation with high levels of PEEP. The outcome of the patient post bed embolism depends on the pre-injury condition of the heart and the lungs. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.